Okay guys, for those that were curious like I was, and I know Andrew was too here, uh, I made a video of this airplane with the shockwave sound unit in it uh, here about a week, two weeks ago. And now I have it completely. I have pulled out that shockwave unit from Model Sounds Incorporated, and now I have Andrew's V4 in here. I've actually rigged this specific airplane, since it was so easy to do, to fit both sound units so I get a comparison on there. Now then, this airplane has a set of the 3-inch Aerosound speakers in it, not the 2-inch ones that come with the uh, Mr. RC Sounds version 4 or 123 for that matter. It uses the same speaker for all four versions. But this has two speakers that are 3-inch with just a little higher output. I do have the volume cranked up all the way on the Mr. RC Sounds unit. Um, and I only have the motor sound on here, and I'm going to play two motor sounds, the Daimler Benz and the Pratt & Whitney Wasp, until I get my other sound chip in. To kind of give you a, a feel of what it sounds like through a set of 3-inch speakers that you can get from Aero Sound that they sell for the Bendini system, which I use for my larger airplanes that have the Bendini and the uh, model sound system in it, the Shockwave unit, that has a little higher output than uh, Andrews does with the version 4, okay? And theirs actually has a 41 amp fire. Uh, his is not, his is not uh, that high. Uh, I'll have to, you'd have to check with him to see what it is, but I think it's a little lower, but it still puts out a lot of volume for it is. But anyway, I wanted to put this up here so you guys can see it. I'll walk over here and stand and hold the airplane because it's a bigger prop. It'll come off the stand. And we'll just fire up here. Just the airplane sound. This is the Daimler Benz on a set of 3-inch speakers powered through Andrew's V4, Mr. RC Sound System version 4. sound system but I wanted to put his in here and actually play it through these three inch speakers to see just exactly how loud it would sound and I'm very impressed. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to check the heat on his unit here. It's not even warm to the touch and it seems to handle them fine. Originally we thought powering these kind of speakers that it would actually blow the amplifier because I tested this earlier out on the bench when I first got this unit a couple weeks ago and it's actually just fine. Nothing even warm. Of course, that's a short test indoors, not a full flying session of about five minutes or so. But this plane gets lots of cooling, and it's got a big, roomy fuselage, the Starmax A1 Sky Raider, 1600mm A1 Sky Raider here. Of course, I don't have the other sounds trimmed in here to play, just the motor sounds, but we're going to change it to the Pratt & Whitney Wasp, which I believe is number five. Yeah. 
Airplane. Three. Airplane. Four. Airplane. Five. Yeah. Now what? And I haven't even heard this yet. Let's see what it sounds like with the Wasp motor on it here. Now these speakers, I do have mounted in speaker boxes like I did for the little 2 inch uh, speakers. Except uh, naturally they're fitted for the 3 inch speakers. I have an adapter, I can take this screen off because this is all made removable so I can service it. Pull this off, uh, which has a 3 inch plate on it with a 2 inch hole in it to mount a 2 inch speaker. And I can put 2 inch speakers right behind this and change them out if I want to. Which I'll do later and do another video on uh, maybe this weekend. put on here. I don't have it mixed to any special programming in here. I'm simply using a Y harness and all those other videos I did the same thing on unlike the version 2 that I have two of them uh, on where we had to mix the channels in order to get the sound to kind of sync up with your prop rotation. And that varies depending on the type of ESC and the motor. So what works for one may not work for the next one but I am finding out that on the version 4 just a simple Y channel off a of servo 1 and just kind of watching how you move your throttle stick, you have to be a little more conscious of it. It's actually syncing up real well. I'm just using just using a simple Y channel, which doesn't mean which means I don't have to plug an extra cable into another channel for a mix. So that's a big plus on what he's done with the new unit here, and I'm really impressed with that. That I can just simply hook it up, which is the way, if I'm not mistaken, the way that it was intended to intended to be just a simple Y off your channel there, one to the ESC, uh, the other Y lead over to servo one which is the engine sounds and starts up. The Pratt with me wasp sounds really good with, for this plane. Sounds good. I'll do it one more time so everybody can hear it. chips and the heat sinks here. So even though these will draw a little more power, I believe, and these are these are 8 ohm, I'm not mistaken. These are 8 ohm speakers, which the little 2 inch speakers are actually 4 ohm speakers. And I have these actually, they're wired individually, so these aren't wired in series. One speaker to one input, one speaker to the other input that he's got here. Sounds really nice. So the next thing I need to do here is put my two inch adapters on here because I have some other speakers with the same connectors. I use JSTs on mine so everything is universal. It all, it all matches and plugs up to the same type of connector and I'm going to put try it again with actually a set of Andrews two inch speakers in these exact same boxes here. Uh, since the unit, since his uh, new sound card is exactly the same shape and size as my model sounds shock card, the shockwave uh, version 7 that I've got, it actually just sits right in here just 
exactly the same way, so I don't have to change anything. Uh, some of the servo lead hookups are a little different, but I've got them labeled for either or. Uh, engine sign wise, it's, it's almost perfect. I'm, I like it. Which is what I want to do, be able to fly this plane and hear what it sounds like with both of them. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, there's the Mr. RC Sounds in the Starmax A1 Sky Raider. 1600 millimeter, powered by Andrews V4, Mr. RC Sounds. Sounds great.